Do you have a rare silver half dollar coin? Today we are looking at 1960 Franklin half dollars that are worth a lot of money. This first coin here sold for over $3,800. So $3,800 coin here. It is graded by PCGS at a Mint State 66 Plus with full bell lines. Full bell lines is a designation that coin grading companies will give your Franklin half dollars when they grade these coins. Uh, it is the D mint mark also, so you'll see that above the bell, uh, underneath the E and the word states at the top of the coin. And then uh, the full bell lines, here's an image of that. Uh, you can pause the screen, that way you guys can uh, see what that designation exactly is. That will increase the value for these coins. And to have this coin at a mint state 66 plus with the full bell lines is what is going to make the coin valuable. If there's only one or two or three of these that exist at this grade, then that's going to increase the demand for the coin from top collectors, which will ultimately increase its value. So if you have one of these, like in this condition, this coin only sold for around $20, graded at a mint state 63 with full bell lines. So even though it's at a mint state grade, it's not valuable because there's a lot of these coins that have already been graded at a 63, but not many graded at a 66 plus. So that's where uh, the value differences are on these types of coins, or on just about any type of coin, really. Now, for the 1960, you also want to look for doubling on uh, the front of the coin, the obverse of the coin. Here's an example of that on the date, on the lettering, trust. So pay attention to your coins, use your coin microscopes, coin loops. I'll have an Amazon affiliate link down below where you guys can go purchase coin microscopes, coin loops, and stuff like that. And um, if you got Prime, you could probably get, you know, next day delivery or delivered in a couple days or a few days, depending on your location. Uh, but here is a 1960 silver half dollar that is the no mint mark. So you will not see a mint mark on the reverse of this coin. Um, it has some very unique... Uh, toning to the coin as well and it is graded at a mint state 67 with full bell lines graded by ngc this time this coin sold for nearly eight thousand dollars at auction all because of that high grade of a mint state 67 so keep that in mind if we compare it here to a 1960 no mint mark again graded at a mint state 63 with full bell lines only sold for around twenty dollars so same kind of example as the d mint mark uh, applies here to the no mint mark, the Philadelphia minted coin. So here is a 1960D half dollar coin that is a mint error. It's the Franklin half dollar design that was struck onto a uh, Jefferson nickel planchet. So that's why the whole design's being cut off, and that's what's going to make the coin valuable. And of course, uh, you know, it's graded at a 63, so that helps as well. This coin ended up selling for over $4,000 at auction. Here's another example of that, but this is a little bit different. We have the 1960 Franklin half dollar design that was struck onto a 25 cent planchet, so a Washington quarter planchet instead of a Jefferson nickel planchet. And this coin ended up selling for a little over $1,000 at auction, graded by NGC at a mint state 64. Very nice error there. Here's a 1960 proof Franklin half dollar coin. So the proof coins will be much more shinier, have that uh, you know mirror-like finish, be much more detailed. Uh, this is graded at a proof 69 ultra cameo. So to have this coin at that grade is extremely rare. A 70 is the best grade you can get on the coin grading scale. This is at a 69. And this coin ended up selling for over $19,000. 19 grand for 50 cents. Unbelievable. Now, also on the proof coins, you want to look for uh, doubling as well. So a double die obverse there on the uh, date and on the lettering. You can really see it there on the L, I, and B. Um, very noticeable doubling there on the Franklin half dollar proof coin. Always be on the lookout for those. If you guys, you know, inherit coin collections or purchase coin collections, you know, always inspect those coins closely. But here is a 1960 that kind of just looks beat up. However, it is a mint error coin that sold for over $400 at auction. And that's because it was struck onto a split planchet. Um, so you'll see the result of that here and the images displayed. Graded by PCGS at a mint state 64. And it sold for 400 bucks. Can't beat that. 
for a coin that looks like that, 400 bucks, I'll take it all day. So feel free to check out my other coin and currency videos, collectible videos here on the channel. We are uploading every single day. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comments section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.